Yesterday I came out and had a fantastic day on the creek test panning. Just a few pans, I accumulated all of this gold. I got all of that gold out of this test pit. So today's goal is to try and get 500 shovels of sand through that high banker and see how much gold we get. Right, let's turn on the sand demon. Oh, uh, start. Oh, cheeky. Honestly, there's no skill in this kind of prospecting. All I did was look for erosion in the bank, and erosion usually means gold. I took a test pan, and now that we know it's sand, the more I shovel, the more gold I should get. Zach has informed me that the pump is just above idle, and Sluice is running about an 11 degree pitch. There's actually two Chris's. There's Ambitious Chris and Logical Chris. And Logical Chris decided that the pump was running a little hard. So we turned it down, slower processing rate, but hopefully more capture rate. Yeah, okay, so the pump on off switch still isn't fixed. Don't judge me. That is what 50 shovels looks like. That's not a lot. And ooh, mama did that produce some tin. <laughs> well, it's time for a good old test pan. I am going to be happy if we get four pieces because it's only sand, it's such easy digging that I'm willing to take a lower spec count because I can shovel through heaps of it. Had to bring you guys over to the shade so it would show up. We got one, two, three really nice flakes and a couple of tiny little nano dots. I was expecting more gold, but smaller size. So that particle size makes up for it. We'll keep digging. First, I'm not comfortable with that amount of black sand. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a quick clean out. Man, that is thick. I can see one tiny piece of gold. Right there, little tiny flaky. Hello. Oh, she's wedged. Aha, victory. Oh man, that is, that is heavy. Oh, I am not panning this all the way down here. Just a little bit. Get rid of the blonde sands, have a sneaky peek and take it home. Well, that's the black sands we're left with. None of it's magnetic, it's all cassiterite or tin. So, so that's gonna take me a long time to clean up. Now obviously there's so much black sand in there I cannot do a proper reveal. But here is some of the very fine gold that we're recovering. I'm about to disturb your piece, Zachy. I'm sorry, buddy. That's that's definitely on an angle, eh? Can I cheat? Oh god, who did these up? Ah. Mix using the Mega River Sluice with the same moss I am. Which is actually just AstroTurf that you buy in a roll from the hardware. And this is just from that AstroTurf. He's got the same tin problem I've got. <laughs> All of it, Mick. Do you have Cornish blood in you? Like it. <laughs> I've made great progress. You can see that I've shifted all the light sands off the top of our pay sand. Now, when I say pay sands, I mean that the sand has a little bit more gravel in it than just sand. And I stopped the high banker because she is, she's full. The main mat is in the bucket. We don't care about the main mat. That's at home's problem. But we're going to do this upper section in mix little pan. Cause I wanna buy some chicken McNuggets on the way home. Radio. The contrast in this pan is brilliant. 
I am taking a calculated risk producing concentrates like this from sand. Normally I'd want a much higher spec count than what I'm getting out of this hole. But what I'm banking on is that it's so much easier to dig that I can get the quantity of shovels through and make up the difference. And there was some nice looking gold in just the sand. We haven't even hit that pay layer yet. That was just out of that junk. And that took me all of 10 minutes to do. I just found my favorite precious rock. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Jasper. Oh yeah, you got a bit. <laughs> just turns me into a cat. I'm like, <laughs> I shall put you safely over here and call you Squishy. Back to the beach. Bit of an old timer's celebration. I just want to address a couple of things about the laws of Victoria regarding prospecting. In the Mines Department website, there is a PDF that outlines everything you can and can't do. There are a lot of gray areas, let's be honest. If you're in Victoria, you'll know all about them. But there's two things I know you can do because it outlines them directly in the charter. The first one is that you can discharge tailings straight back into the creek, that is fine. And lastly, it specifically says that you can dig both in the creek and in the banks or reserves surrounding the area. I get asked about that a lot and I just thought it'd be good to clear it up. It's another relic. It's porcelain. What do you reckon that was off? Have you got any idea why there'd be holes like that in a piece of porcelain? Let me know. I just pulled the top piece of miner's moss out to have a look at what we were getting after finding some gold in our tailings. And we are getting a lot of that super fine gold. It is literally going to be impossible to know how much gold I've got both in these pans and in that sluice and all the cleanouts were done today until I get it home and through the cleanup process because this gold just likes to hide under that black sand. This is going to be an absolutely painful experience to clean up. But not nearly as painful as missing out on future episodes, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, Mix Loose is not using any riffles in the top half, it's just that piece of carpet. In the bottom half, he's got regular carpet plus expanded mesh. When he did his last clean out, he found nothing in this section at all. All of his gold is up here. And just look at the black sand this is collecting. There's just pockets of it all through it. I'm totally doing a video where I take nothing but that out to the creek and just throw rocks on it and see how much gold we get. Mick has the sharpest eyes I know when it comes to pulling out really cool stuff out of the high banker and he just found this. Look at this. I'm going to put it in the water quickly. If you saw that come off the back of the high banker, right there, I would say that most people would think that was gold, but it's not. It's iron pyrite or calcopyrite. It looks almost identical to gold when it's wet and on the right angle. But as soon as you start moving around, you can see how it changes color. Gold doesn't do that. All along this edge, we're getting between four and 10, but it was sporadic. Over here, right where the sand used to come to, we're getting about seven average. finally hit the false bottom so it's just clay but that's exactly where the gold is going to stop Ooh, yeah good fight So either the pump's out of petrol or the severe amount of neglect that I give it finally killed it either way let's do the cleanup we probably only got around 20 or 30 shovels, so nowhere near as much black sand, and that's good. Because we're not fans of black sand, we're fans of gold, and hopefully it's just gold in there and not much black sand. 
Remembering that this is a small run. Yeah, little bit, little bit. That right there is probably enough to cover the fuel that we put through the pump. Right before we wipe the gold, if gold prospecting is something that you're interested in understanding more about and possibly getting out there and doing it yourself, please check out the description below where you're going to find a link to my digital prospecting guide. It's 42 pages of the most fundamental basic stuff that you're going to need to do to be able to get into gold prospecting. Right, on with the gold way in. This is all the gold I found for 350 shovels next week, 2 gram brass weight for a little bit of scale. I even found a little piece of broken sapphire during the cleanup. And I think that's a pretty good take for 350 shovels. I live streamed the entire process of cleaning up over five kilos of black sand from this run over on my Facebook page. I've left a link to that in the description below if you would like to go watch it. It was a pretty big risk to decide to spend all the time, energy and money on high banking sand with a low spec count. For 350 shovels, if I got a 0.3, I'd be pretty damn happy out of just sand, but this looks like more. I'm gonna guess close to a half gram, 0.51. What's your guess? Leave it in the comments below. Hello. Pretty close, 0 0.464. 0 0.464 is worth $37.62 Australian at the time of recording, and that came out of just sand, which I think is pretty damn good. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please give your dog a scratch behind the ears for me. Peace! And I'm out.